We have more breaking news this morning. Lady Luck could still be on your side. It, it's always fun to see it when it just ticks up and up and gets more creative. Ridiculous. And you're just thinking, what am I going to win? No one won the Mega Millions jackpot last night. That means the jackpot is growing to get this $1.3 billion. So we've uh, put an Oscar Margain on this case. <laughs> Andy Sten reporter is live in Malden with what you need to know. $1.3 billion, Oscar. Yeah, 1.3 billion. You know, I was talking about, you know, what would I do with that money? We've discussed this before, and I said, yeah, I want to take it on, you know, to go on SpaceX. Well, with that kind of money, you can actually buy the whole ship and get everybody on board, get a ticket for everybody at the station and take them to space. Anyway, yes, the jackpot keeps on growing. It was $1.1 billion on Tuesday before the drawing, and now the estimated jackpot, as you mentioned, one point three by Friday. Take a look at the sign behind me here at the 7-Eleven. It's not outdated. It's it's not that it, that you know they haven't uh, out updated it yet. It's nine 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 because it just can't fit one point you know three billion basically, and they don't have that. I guess basically the option to put the B. But um, that is jackpot right now for Friday's drawing. And if you're wondering, the cash payout is more than seven hundred million big ones, making it the second largest in Mega Millions history. On Tuesday, no one hit the jackpot, but two tickets sold in Massachusetts won the second tier prize of one million, which should buy you maybe a regular size home in Boston. <laughs> now the next drawing is on Friday the thirteenth, and I know what you're thinking. It's usually associated with bad luck and horror movies, but the uh, people at Mega Millions say that there have been six winning jackpots on this date in games history. In the game's history, including one winner in Rhode Island. Now, those who play, of course, hoping to win. But the most important question that I like to ask people is, what would you do with all that cash? First thing I would do is uh, pay off everything for my mother. And after that, uh, I'd like to buy a cul-de-sac and put all my children in each in a house. First thing I would do, I would get my church, a uh, church, and then everything after, that, just live. Now I'm not going to mention the odds of winning because, well, that's no fun. But if nobody wins on Friday, well, then the estimated jackpot could surpass the 1.5 billion record uh, set back in 2018. Again, this is if nobody wins, and it would become the largest jackpot in Mega Millions history. Reporting live in Malden, Oscar Margain, NBC10, Boston. First.